What's up, YouTubers? I don't think I've ever actually come on here and said hi to everyone or introduced myself. So I'm Sylvia. I'm the brains behind this channel. Kidding. There's very little brains happening on day... I don't even know what day it is anymore of quarantine, but just know I'm over it. 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 We're all over it. Anyways. Okay, so what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is kind of a sensitive subject, but a necessary one to address because I think we're all in the same boat with this quarantine life and that boat has led us to have to take responsibility into our own hands in some cases. Um, yeah, so we're gonna talk about dyeing our own hair today. And it's not, it's not as scary as it sounds. Trust me, trust me, trust me. One thing I can't deal with is gray hair. And I know what you're thinking. We're in quarantine. Why does it even matter? Who's seeing you? Stay inside. You shouldn't be leaving your house. You're probably getting tons of FaceTime time in. Skype time, whatever your preferred method is, you're talking to your loved ones. And I don't know about you, but whether it's face-to-face -face or FaceTime, I'm not showing up looking a hot mess. I'm not, that's not my style. It's not how I was raised. I'm not doing it. So before I RSVP yes to any more Zoom parties, I am touching up my gray hair and I've never, ever, ever tried this brand. So I thought this would be a great, great opportunity for me to A, show you guys what this this root cover up is all about um, because I have tried some in the past. This isn't my first rodeo. This isn't the first time I'm ever using box dye on my roots. Okay, like what am I, 16? I wish, no, but this is my first time with this brand and in the past I have come across a few that are specifically for gray coverage and they don't cover your grays, which you, you're now pointless to me, okay? I don't need you. So hopefully this one does not fall into that category. Um, so looking inside, you're gonna get your instructions. What do you do without them, right? That's standard. Color activator, your color cream, the most important, important thing in the entire box. You basically are going to squeeze all of the contents of this into the first bottle that I brought out, this guy right here. Shake it up, shake it, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture until it's all combined and then you're ready to go on that end. This is the conditioner for after you dye your hair and I actually love conditioners that come in dye boxes. I don't know, sue me. Oh my God, this one smells so good. Ooh, oh, it's so floral. I'm not the best at describing scents. Like it's floral, okay? It smells amazing. And that means my hair is gonna smell amazing. So I'm already happy about that, okay? Now, personally, my own tips that I just wanna throw in, I get three little black elastic hair ties, any hair tie that you use that you prefer. I will split my hair into three sections, two in the front and then all the back part into a low ponytail. And then luckily, or <laughs> unluckily actually, my grays are very concentrated. They're right, right where you can see them, right there where I part my hair, right in the front. I also have these beauties that like to come in right along the front of my hairline. Anyways, so I start there. It tells you on the instructions all the time. You're going to want to start with your more resistant grays because they're going to need longer to process because you want, you want them out of here. I start along my roots, put that one back up, go to the other side, do my roots. As I'm doing that, I'm obviously working out into the ends. And then I do the back part. I mostly focus on the roots because this is a root touch up. It's not a full dye job. So that's kind of how I approach touching up my roots at home. Um, 
I'm going to go ahead and change into something that I don't mind ruining. But once I change, I'm going to go ahead and color my hair and I will pop back on here once my hair is back in a similar state so we can do a little before and after comparison. So yeah, make sure you get a good, good, not too good, not too good, <laughs> good hard look at these grays because I'm kissing them goodbye. I don't want them. They're not welcome here anymore. I don't want them. I don't need them. Never needed them. Never wanted them. So yeah, I'm going to get rid of it and I'll be back. What's up guys. I want to start off by addressing two, what I'm going to go ahead and assume are elephants in the room because they're already bothering me. Number one, I'm wearing a different shirt to finish the video. Do you just lose things in your own house or is it just me? I can't find my shirt. I don't, I don't know where it is. Anyway, so I'm wearing a different shirt. It's going to bother me all through editing this video. I'm sorry if it bothers you too, but it's another day. I dyed my hair. I took a shower. I washed it. It's a whole new day. Secondly, it's raining it's so hard outside. So you're probably hearing like little, I don't know. It's going to be annoying, but it's supposed to rain all week. So if I don't do this now, there's really, you're going to be waiting forever for it. So I figured whatever, you might hear a little rain, but I'm going to knock this out. Ah. So for the whole reason why you're here, let's talk about this nice and easy root cover up. Like I mentioned earlier, I never tried this brand before. This was my first go ahead. So I wanted to let you guys know pros, cons, takeaways, all of that. So let me start by saying color wise, look at me, look at it. It's perfect. It's the exact color I was going for. So one thing that was really unique about this hair dye was the consistency. I'm used to most hair dyes being more of a gel that you apply and this one reminded me a lot of lotion um, or just like a really kind of, I don't want to say runny, but uh, not so thick <laughs> conditioner and I'm not even going to lie, about three times throughout the process of applying the color, I stopped what I was doing and looked at the container that I had squeezed into the developer to make sure that I had actually squeezed the right one, the color, and not the conditioner for after because it was it was such a different consistency for me. So it's very unique in that regard. Um, if you're used to dyeing your hair, you're, you've seen more of like the really jelly kind of stuff. And so this was different, not necessarily better or worse. Now, gray coverage. This is where some dyes really get it wrong. They're supposed to cover gray and they leave you with a few little grays here and there that you don't want <laughs> at all. It's the whole reason you dyed your hair. You guys, like run your fingers through my hair. You can't, so I'll do it for you. We are gray free completely everywhere <laughs> throughout this hair. I could do a side part if I want, do a little hair behind the ear, do some half up, half down action. It covered every single little random spare gray that was popping up. And most importantly, it covered the ones right in the front that draw the eye, that draw the light. All in all, I would highly recommend this. If you're dealing with growth and you don't have highlights, biolage, or something really complicated to keep up with, and I mean, who knows how much longer it's going to be before we can schedule regular appointments with our hairdressers. Um, I don't know. I recommend it. I give it a 10 and I will definitely be giving it another use, I'm sure, because I'm stressed. <laughs> By the way, this is not a sponsored post. Um, but if any at home gray coverage company would like to sponsor me, let's talk because this gets expensive. 